Sadness flies away on the wings of time. Sadness is but a wall between two gardens. One must not let oneself be overwhelmed by sadness. The walls we build around us to keep sadness out also keeps out the joy. We must understand that sadness is an ocean, and sometimes we drown, while other days we are forced to swim. The way sadness works is one of the strange riddles of the world. If you are stricken with a great sadness, you may feel as if you have been set aflame. Not only because of the enormous pain but also because your sadness may spread over your life, like smoke from an enormous fire. There are moments when I wish I could roll back the clock and take all the sadness away, but I have the feeling that if I did, the joy would be gone as well. Experiencing sadness and anger can make you feel more creative, and by being creative you can get beyond your pain or negativity. Some days are just bad days, that's all. You have to experience sadness to know happiness, and I remind myself that not every day is going to be a good day, that's just the way it is. Nothing can cure the soul but the senses, just as nothing can cure the senses but the soul. You cannot protect yourself from sadness without protecting yourself from happiness. The word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. In deep sadness there is no place for sentimentality. The largest part of what we call personality is determined by how we've opted to defend ourselves against anxiety and sadness. Every human walks around with a certain kind of sadness. They may not wear it on their sleeves, but it's there if you look deep. Sadness gives depth. Happiness gives height. Sadness gives roots. Happiness gives branches. Happiness is like a tree going into the sky, and sadness is like the roots going down into the womb of the earth. Both are needed, and the higher a tree goes, the deeper it goes, simultaneously. The bigger the tree, the bigger will be its roots. In fact, it is always in proportion. That's its balance. We never taste happiness in perfection. Our most fortunate successes are mixed with sadness. We're taught to be ashamed of confusion, anger, fear and sadness, and to me they're of equal value to happiness, excitement and inspiration. They say it's better to bury your sadness in a graveyard or garden that waits for the spring to wake from its sleep and burst into green. We never taste a perfect joy, our happiest successes are mixed with sadness. I can choose to sit in perpetual sadness, immobilized by the gravity of my loss, or I can choose to rise from the pain and treasure the most precious gift I have, life itself. The good life is not one immune to sadness but one in which suffering contributes to our development. Behind every sweet smile, there is a bitter sadness that no one can ever see and feel. Boredom, anger, sadness, or fear are not yours, not personal. They are conditions of the human mind. They come and go. Nothing that comes and goes is you. Every man has his secret sorrows which the world knows not, and oftentimes we call a man cold when he is only sad. Life is too short to be angry or sad for long. The longer and more carefully we look at a funny story, the sadder it becomes. When you feel sad, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. There is some kind of a sweet innocence in being human and not having to be just happy or just sad in the nature of being able to be both broken and whole, at the same time. For all sad words of tongue and pen, 
The saddest are these, it might have been. A sad soul can kill quicker than a germ. It doesn't hurt to feel sad from time to time. Sad things happen, they do. But we don't need to live sad forever. There is no sadder sight than a young pessimist. Sad people dislike the happy, and the happy the sad, the quick thinking the sedate, and the careless the busy and industrious. The saddest thing that befalls a soul is when it loses faith in God and woman. He who is not just as severe, he who is not wise is sad. The old know what they want, the young are sad and bewildered. It's sad when someone you know becomes someone you knew. It is sad not to love, but it is much sadder not to be able to love. Better by far you should forget and smile that you should remember and be sad. It is sad to grow old but nice to ripen. The good times of today, are the sad thoughts of tomorrow. Beauty makes idiots sad and wise men merry. How sad it is that we give up on people who are just like us. It's pretty sad when you have to choose between the lesser of two evils. Sometimes we get sad about things and we don't like to tell other people that we are sad about them. We like to keep it a secret. Or sometimes, we are sad but we really don't know why we are sad. So we say we aren't sad but we really are. It's sad, something coming to an end. It cracks you open, in a way, cracks you open to feeling. You're sad because you're wasting your potential. You know it, your family knows it, everyone knows it. Do something useful. The wound is the place where the light enters you. The human condition is a good one in that no one is unhappy except by his own fault. Usually when people are sad, they don't do anything. They just cry over their condition. But when they get angry, they bring about a change. The pain never really goes away. You just elevate and get used to it by growing stronger. I have the choice of being constantly active and happy or introspectively passive and sad. Tears shed for another person are not a sign of weakness. They are a sign of a pure heart. Don't be ashamed to weep, tis right to grieve. Tears are only water, and flowers, trees and fruit cannot grow without water. But there must be sunlight also. A wounded heart will heal in time, and when it does, the memory and love of our lost ones is sealed inside to comfort us. Tears are words the mouth can't say nor can the heart bear. Heavy hearts, like heavy clouds in the sky, are best relieved by the letting of a little water. There is a sacredness in tears. They are not the mark of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than ten thousand tongues. They are the messengers of overwhelming grief, of deep contrition, and of unspeakable love. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. Delicious tears. The heart's own do. Crying is cleansing. There's a reason for tears, happiness or sadness. Tears are nature's lotion for the eyes. The eyes see better for being washed by them. Those who don't know how to weep with their whole heart, don't know how to laugh either. A teardrop on earth summons the king of heaven. Tears are the natural penalties of pleasure. It is a law that we should pay for all that we enjoy. What brings us to tears, will lead us to grace. Our pain is never wasted. Sometimes you laugh because you've got no more room for crying.
crying is all right in its way while it lasts. But you have to stop sooner or later, and then you still have to decide what to do. Never be afraid of tears. Tear-filled eyes are capable of seeing truth. Tear-filled eyes are capable of seeing the beauty of life. Any fool can be happy. It takes a man with real heart to make beauty out of the stuff that makes us weep. I always like walking in the rain, so no one can see me crying. People cry, not because they're weak. It's because they've been strong for too long. Those who do not weep, do not see. The cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea. There is no greater sorrow than to recall in misery the time when we were happy. Sorrow looks back, worry looks around, faith looks up. Every life has a measure of sorrow, and sometimes this is what awakens us. Worry never robs tomorrow of its sorrow, it only saps today of its joy. Make the most of your regrets, never smother your sorrow, but tend and cherish it till it comes to have a separate and integral interest. To regret deeply is to live afresh. There is prodigious strength in sorrow and despair. The rose and the thorn, and sorrow and gladness are linked together. The keenest sorrow is to recognize ourselves as the sole cause of all our adversities. If we could read the secret history of our enemies we should find in each man's life sorrow and suffering enough to disarm all hostility. Nobody understands another's sorrow, and nobody another's joy. Words are less needful to sorrow than to joy. Sorrows are like thunderclouds, in the distance they look black, over our heads scarcely gray. Let us remember that sorrow alone is the creator of great things. In the valley of sorrow, spread your wings. A long life makes acquaintance with a thousand ills. The fundamental delusion, there is something out there that will make me happy and fulfilled forever. When you are sorrowful look again in your heart, and you shall see that in truth you are weeping for that which has been your delight. There is no point treating a depressed person as though she were just feeling sad, saying, there now, hang on you'll get over it. Sadness is more or less like a head cold with patience, it passes. Depression is like cancer, 